This is Chris Willett here from Notes from a Vagabond. I'm in Louisiana at how I pronounce, I pronounce it Fontainebleau State Park. And today I'm going to talk about how to make a great cup of coffee when you're traveling. Uh, what you'll need is water. Um, it's good to have good filtered water or some other real good tasting water. Um, a kettle. I like this little GSI kettle. Uh, it holds about a liter and what's nice is this uh, rubber handle up here uh, doesn't get super hot. Uh, a little, I'm using a little backpacking stove, uh, some kind of heat source. Um, this is a GSI 4 drip cone uh, for your filters. Um, this is an AeroPress. I use this if I'm making just a one cup of coffee or if I want uh, like a shot of espresso. Uh, a little cup to put it in. Uh, it's good to have a really good thermos if you want to make more than one cup of coffee. Um, you can make it directly into the thermos. A little stirring spoon. It's real important to have a coffee scoop measure so you can put in the same amount every time. And then coffee of your choice. Um, the important thing with coffee is to get it ground the way you like it. I like mine uh, for a drip filter on on the fine side. Next you'll want to bring your water to a boil. Off. I'm going to show you both method. If I'm making a whole pot of coffee, put this here, put in a cone filter. Um, same thing with the AeroPress. Has a little thing, screw on, put in a little filter in there. Set them on there. Uh, next, you want to just wet the filters a little bit. Wet this one a little bit. Just a ah, little wet just on that one. Uh, take and coffee. Uh, this is why this uh, little scoop is so important. You can, after a while, you'll know exactly how many uh, scoops you want to make how much coffee. Uh, put one big one in there. Another one in there. You want to use hot water, not boiling water. So after you bring your water to a boil, let it stand, oh, 30 to 45 seconds. Let it seep a little while. This is called blooming. Um, there's all kinds of videos on YouTube that tells you exact way to pour your coffee. There are many videos on YouTube about pouring your water precisely over your coffee grounds. But when I'm traveling, I'm really not that particular. Stir it up a little bit. Press this on here. Slowly push down. This makes a really good tasting strong cup of coffee. If it's too strong, I can always add a little water to it. Press that all the way down there. Like that. The final stage is cleanup, and that's why I like these two methods the best to make coffee when I'm traveling because the cleanup is so easy with this. I just take this out, drop it in the bucket, um, collapse it up. I can let it just sit there for a little while or I can shake it out and it has this little uh, lid. To, so it's real convenient to pack and go with. Uh, with this one, it's great. Just unscrew this cap like this. Um, just take it and you know, make sure what you see. You just shoot it out like that, it's done. Uh, you can take, especially when you're traveling, I just wipe it off like that, put it together, and I'm ready to go. Um, well, that's about it for making coffee when you travel. Thanks for watching this video from Notes from Vagalon, and I hope you hit the road and have fun traveling. Bye. Hi, this is Chris Willett. I'm in Fontainebleau State Park in Louisiana, and today I'm going to talk about how to make a great cup of cup of great cup of coffee when you're traveling. Start with it. That's about it for making coffee when you travel. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh,